short, curly, or straight. Most of us grow our hair without any effort, and now scientists are discovering more ways our hair can help save the planet. Yes, last week, as part of our Earth Project series, we showed you how human hair is now being used in the fashion world and turned into sustainable clothing. Also, how a local company collects hair to weave it into mats that can mop up oil spills along our coasts. And then tonight, we're learning about another potential benefit, and that's thanks to an experiment right here in the Bay Area. Our Ann Makovic is in studio now to tell us what happened when scientists scattered human hair and put it into soil. Yeah, Explain. who would have thought, right? We're talking researchers at top universities and ecologists at a national park. They are now digging into the question, can human hair basically supercharge our soil while helping us fight the impacts of climate change? When it comes to hair, some research at Cal is a cut above the rest. Soils collection on Wednesday? Yes. In the Department of Environmental Sciences, ecosystem ecologist Dr. Wendy Silver and visiting scholar Dr. Tibisai Perez. The scientists are studying the biogeochemical effects of climate change and possible ways to curb it. One strategy, grow more plants to pull that climate warming CO2 out of the atmosphere and lock it up in the soil. One way to do that may actually involve human hair. If it turns out that this is the case, it would be very exciting. The scientists collected untreated hair from a local beauty salon. Those strands were ground up and then put into so. tiny bottles. We take a very small amount, just 0.2 grams, and we distribute that into the soil. Bad soil harvested from Marin. In the lab, undergraduate Kai Nittenberg added small amounts of the hair into jarred soil samples. Eight weeks later, some preliminary results. We began to see evidence that the hair was beginning to break down. When we started to see the changes in the in the hair amended soils, we have higher um, nutrient content. The hair was acting like a slow-release organic fertilizer, changing the bad soil into good. One possible explanation, hair contains nitrogen. Hair breaks down slowly, and that nitrogen is packaged in the hair in such a way that it's released slowly. In those jars, scientists also measured nitrous oxide, a potent greenhouse gas. But in this case, no worries. In our experiment, there were no plants. But if the plants had been there, there's a good probability that they would have been able to capture that nitrogen. Resulting in slow, prolonged growth, which is what appears to be happening with hair experiments now underway at the Presidio. Then we just scattered it over these tiny plants that were barely growing. They couldn't, they could barely make it. And that has resulted in this beautiful meadow of bunch grasses that wouldn't have happened had we not put that hair down. Lewis Stringer is an ecologist with the Presidio Trust. He is blown away by what he's seen. It's amazing. I would never never have considered that hair could be so productive for helping us to restore these very harsh soils. The Trust is experimenting with hair compost to see if it can help grow native plants in tough soil. The barren land seen here was treated with either straw mulch, hair, fertilizer, or nothing at all. The only green growth occurred with the hair. There's much more growth in those plots of hair than there is with just the fertilizer or with that compost itself. This is hair. This is hair. Lisa Gautier heads up Matter of Trust, a nonprofit based in San Francisco that collects donated hair. The nonprofit has partnered with the Presidio and is also funding the research at Cal. Gautier says Mother Nature had it right. This is a renewable resource growing right in front of your eyes. Like Mother Nature was like, look at this, this is useful. <laughs> when I'm taking my hair off of my cat or my cutting my kid's hair, it always goes into my garden now. I'm starting to think about you know, what What else can hair do? Making every day a good hair day. So if you're inspired to toss your yeah. hair into your backyard plants, why not? You do want to stay away from longer hair, though, because oh. if it's around birds, it could tangle up in birds okay. and harm them. So right. Matter of Trust recommends small bits of hair, also pet fur that you yes. could incorporate into your soil. And maybe horse, my horse is sure. Tail, you know, and then you could just go to a salon and maybe just get all of the hair there. Yeah. We're onto something. Yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. It is, isn't right. it? It's Thank crazy. You.